Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming on by to check out today's video, which is my January 2022 Home Fragrance Empties Part 2. So it's that time and my bin is, um, is quite full and I'm proud to say there are three candles in here. So let's talk candles first. I pulled out the Berry Spritzer from Bath & Body Works. This was a Candle Day release, I want to say last year. Um, so it would have been Candle Day 2020. Um, they did re-release it for Candle Day 2021. This was sort of a love it or hate it fragrance, and I fell in love with it. This was one of those situations where I thought I would love this scent, so I grabbed two so that I could burn one and then chop, chunk up the other one, chop it up and melt it. So that's what this was. This was the chunked up second candle. Um, this was, this jar was probably three quarters full um, and I've been warming it in my Scentsy warmers. Scent notes here, frozen juniper berries, cool peppermint black currant. I tend to like anything with currant in it. This cool peppermint that they're referring to I get no peppermint from this thankfully because I I don't think I would enjoy peppermint with a berry scent but I think it just gives it a coolness that I enjoy it's such a cool scent and by cool I mean not the temperature <laughs> it's sweet tart berry and as I said oh it's so good um, as I said, the peppermint in it just kind of makes it seem like a cool fragrance, not like a minty fragrance. Um, this is it for me. I don't think I have any berry spritzer left in my collection, and I, I'm kind of bummed. I almost wish that I had one more, but when we placed our Candle Day haul, I don't think this fragrance was on the website, because I feel like I would have ordered another one. Anyway... Long story short, it was great to melt. This was a decent um, burn, as I recall, too. I could be wrong. In fact, guys, what I'll do is... If I reviewed this candle, which I feel like I did... If I did, I'll um, put that video in the description box below for you guys. But yeah, long story short, I love this scent. I, I would repurchase. It was great um, in my warmers. My beloved winter candy apple as I mentioned previously I usually burn at least one of these every winter season <clears throat> excuse me uh love the label on this I didn't realize when I ordered it from the website that it was sort of iridescent like this I didn't realize until I got it now I did get two of these so I'll save the other one for next winter Scent notes here, candied apples, crisp pears, oranges, which is different than the winter candy apple scent notes for body care, but they smell exactly the same. So BBW just up to their their usual trickery. Um, but yeah, I love this scent. Love it in body care, love it in home fragrance. I think I could very easily overdo it because it is very, very sweet, but I do enjoy using it once every winter. Um, this burn, <clears throat> it wasn't good. I'm not going to lie. In fact, it was so bad at one point that I took a photo so I could show you guys in this video. But long story short, I broke my iPad. I actually stepped on it and I'm filming on my iPhone. So, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <sighs> I should have known that was going to happen. Typical Shannon. Um, but yeah, so I can't really show you the photo because I don't have my other screen to show you on. But yeah, it was a very, very dirty burn. Um, the wax discolored very quickly, you know, typical BBW three wick bullshit. So yeah, no surprise there. <clears throat> but um, the scent, at least for the first half of the candle, was amazing. Now... Let's end things on a more positive note, shall we? The last candle that I got through in January 2022, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I just purchased this fairly recently. 
and I did not intend to finish it because this is this scent is so strong that often um, I can use the candle for like a year <laughs> but you know I just was enjoying it so I just kept lighting it a couple of times a day sometimes three times a day because I was enjoying it that much um, and as soon as it would basically pull out I would blow it out wait a little bit and relight it because I was just it was just so good Scent notes, pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice. There is no pumpkin spice in this. There's no hint of pumpkin, which is why I like it. I don't love the pumpkin stuff. I don't love the spicy stuff. A lot of you know this about me. This just smells like warm waffles. It's not super sweet. It's more rich than sweet. Like it's more buttery than it is sweet, but it's definitely got some sweetness to it for sure. But let me tell you guys, this was one of the best performing candles I've had from BBW in a long frickin' time. You can see there is some wax residue. I don't even care. <laughs> um, the wax didn't even really discolor. And I think when they dye the wax this sort of brown color, I almost feel like that's their intention because then it won't show discoloration, if that makes sense because discoloration usually is like a grayish brown, right? As, as a candle burns. So you can really see it on like white and cream colored wax. But this is sort of the color that wax would discolor to anyway. Um, but I can tell you that as I was burning it down, I wasn't seeing a big difference in color between the unmelted wax and the burned wax. So that's amazing. Um, yeah, as I said, there's obviously some wax on the sides, but I don't care. Clean burn. Um, this one, and again, it's very, very cold right now in Ontario, Canada, so I almost wonder if that's part of it, because these candles can't pull out as quickly, because it's so cold in here. Um, but yeah, it smells like, barely like a burned candle. It smells pretty clean still. It does smell like a burned candle, but barely. This was, what a great candle experience this was. If I had known, if I had known, I would have bought a ton of these. It was just, just wonderful. This scent to me is pretty much a dupe, or at least, no, let me rephrase. Scentsy's Stroopwafel Delight, which is now discontinued, but it was an amazing fragrance. Scentsy's Stroopwafel Delight, for those of you who are familiar with that wax, that is a dupe for this. And I say that because Pumpkin Pecan Waffles was out long before Stroop Waffle Delight was. Um, so just giving credit where credit is due. Um, but yeah, pretty much a dupe. In fact, I think I did a video talking about that a couple of years ago. Anyway, that's it for candles. I put a new Shimmer Car Bar in my car probably two weeks ago now. And I just threw this into my empties just so that I would bring it up. Um, yeah, this actually smells like shimmer. I like shimmer, but I kind of overdid it. Um, my first experience with shimmer, I ordered the wax and the room spray, and it was the very first room spray that I ever finished. I sprayed the shit out of my old apartment with that scent. <laughs> and I burned myself out on it. I got kind of sick of it. So now... I can appreciate shimmer from time to time, but it's not like one of my favorite scents. Um, but it's been okay in the car bar. Generally speaking, a lot of you have heard me complain about this. I'm kind of over Scentsy's car fragrances. They're not as good as they used to be, in my opinion. They're not as strong as they used to be, and they're not as long lasting as they used to be. So I haven't purchased any Scentsy car stuff in a while. I just, I have a little bit of a back stock, so I'm just using it up while I decide what I'm going to be doing moving forward. Speaking of which, this is a funny story. <laughs> um, scent pack in, I believe this is, is Atlantic Air. Let me smell it because it doesn't say. Oh yes, it does. Atlantic Air. There is actually a teeny tiny bit of fragrance in this, but you have to stick your nose in it to smell it. It smells really good, but it doesn't smell like the wax. It kind of does. It smells similar, but not exactly the same. So funny story. Um, I went to grab a pair of winter boots out of my closet that I hadn't worn since like last winter. And this was inside one of the boots. I don't remember doing that. And I don't know if it was intentional, but uh, yeah, I, oh, I'm so sorry. 
sorry guys. And here I thought this was gonna be such a better, a cleaner video than the last one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, <sighs> yeah, I don't feel like this did much if I'm being honest. That was kind of disappointing. Like when it fell out of the boot, I was like, oh, that was in there? How long has that been in there? I don't smell it. I don't remember ever smelling it. So that sucks, but I think I might even still have another scent pack in Atlantic Air left. I might just throw it in my car. Um, let's talk non scentsy wax. I finally warmed through this clamshell of Country Clothesline from Kawartha Candle Company. Um, I purchased this at a vendor show for a ladies night out event uh, early November and I wanted to let it sit and cure for a little bit before I warmed it. And I just finished this today actually, the last couple of cubes that were in my bedroom. I warmed these six cubes exclusively in my bedroom. This wax was weird. It was even different from the other two clams that I had from the same company. Like if you look, it almost looks like pliable. Like that's how soft it is. You can see the residue in there. Very interesting. Let me tell you, this fragrance. Amazing. It is the most beautiful linen, clean laundry, fresh clean scent. You guys know I love those fragrances. Yeah, it, it's very much like um, Clean Breeze from Scentsy. It was a great performer. It was awesome. My my thing, this is going to sound super petty, but I'm just going to say it. Because I tend to warm Scentsy wax more than anything else, um, the thing with other types of wax, other brands, is it's just kind of a pain in the ass for me to change out. I have a great system with Scentsy Wax where I let it cool a little bit and then just peel it out of my warmers. No muss, no fuss. It's usually perfectly clean. Sometimes I would have to like wipe out a bit of residue, if anything, but it's just so convenient. With any other kind of wax, such as the Kortha Candle or other brands, because they're not that same type of wax formula, I kind of have to clean the wax out or change out the wax when it's fully pulled out and just like pour it out, dump it out, absorb it with a paper towel, cotton swab, whatever. It's just a pain and I feel like it's more wasteful to use something like paper towel or cotton to clean up wax than to just throw away the wax. And maybe that's just me, again, it just is what it is. But yeah, so I just find it much less convenient to use other types of scented wax, which is unfortunate because that fragrance was beautiful. I would absolutely repurchase the Country Clothesline from Kawartha Candle. It was, it was great. Um, I just wish, I just wish the, the actual wax formulas themselves were a little closer to Scentsy so that I could just scoop them out. Again, I know it's kind of petty and just, me being me, but that's just how I feel. The other thing too I find with the Kortha Candle wax melts, I think I have one left that I'm gonna save for the summer. But um, again, with that type of wax, because it's been so chilly, it's not fully pooling out in my Scentsy warmers. Um, the warmers I have in my bedroom, one is a 20 watt and the other is I believe an eight watt element. I get that those are like low wattage warmers, but yeah, even, uh, also in my bathroom, um, the, the Kortha candle wax doesn't pull out all the way. It just doesn't get hot enough, but it is what it is. And yeah, so we're gonna move on. I have three empty clams here um, of Scentsy wax. And that's it. So up first, I finally warmed my bar of mocha, mocha doodle. I did have this in my melting basket for winter. I love mocha doodle. I didn't discover it until Scentsy all of a sudden basically decided to retire it. <laughs> so I had this in my club. I think I've actually just taken this out of my club. I think I did. Only because, and I love this, and it's an amazing performer. It's very much like um, Toffee Butter Crunch, which is actually available, or was just available in the Bring Back My Bar. 
I just, I love it and it's a great performer, but I feel like if I keep salted caramel cupcake in my club or toffee butter crunch, it, they're close enough to this. Um, and as you guys know, I enjoy bakery fragrances, but they're not my absolute favorite. So I don't need to have multiples of, of bars that are really similar in my club. Um, it's hard enough for me to narrow down my fruity favorites and my fresh favorites. Uh, so yeah, I think I did end up taking this out of my club. I could see this coming back though. I think it's strange that they got rid of it in the first place, but maybe people just weren't buying it. I don't know. I finished up Red Berry and Spruce. This was my very first bar of this fragrance and I grabbed it thinking I would warm it at Christmas. I just, I've done very well. I've been getting through a ton of home fragrance, but this one I just didn't get to as quickly as I thought that I would. So yeah, I like this. It's basically, it smells like Spruce, but sweetened up. Would I be able to pick out berries out of this? No. I did enjoy it. I probably would warm another bar of it, but I could also live without it. And last but not least, I wanted to hustle and finally warm Olaf Warm Hugs because I put this in my club having never smelled it and I wanted to decide whether or not I liked it um, before making the decision about cutting it from my club. And yeah, it's definitely not club worthy for me. I see why people like it. It's unique. I just get like a fresh air vanilla kind of. But um, when it was warming, it just smelled like a, um, like a sweet mint. I don't know. It's okay. But yeah, I think I already took that one into my club. But I do still have one more bar of this, so I'll save it for next winter. So that is that. I am going to very gently try to move the camera without making a mess like I usually do so you can see everything. And so I'm also currently try. I was hoping to finish before this video and I just didn't quite do it. My brick from the holiday collection last year of marshmallow mint cocoa. So you'll see that in my empties in February. Just finishing it up right now. Um, I'm working on a brick of Luna in my bedroom. I'm working on lots of fun stuff right now. So you have lots to look forward to hearing about from me. But this is what I finished the second half of January 2022. How is it February? I don't understand. I really don't get where the time is going. It's crazy, guys. I don't know, man. <laughs> but I'm getting through some stuff. There's no question about that. Okay. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate all of you. You guys know this. You guys are the best. Leave me a comment below. Let me let me know what you've been enjoying as far as home fragrance, personal fragrance, whatever you want. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more of it. Hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any upcoming content. Thanks again. Y'all are the best. Leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys. You know that. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye.